Hey everybody, I'm here with Gary Miller uh, from the Swell Tone Surfing from uh, Durham, North Carolina. How are you? Hey, I'm doing great. Thanks so much for having me on with you today. Uh, yeah, it's, it's my pleasure. Uh, I've been following you for a little bit and we've been corresponding and trying to juggle schedules, mostly my fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, uh, but uh, I wanted to say that on your band camp page, there's a sort of a teaser um by the time this airs it'll be october-ish so tell me what they're going to expect when they go to your band camp page in october yeah for sure so we're in the midst of doing uh some recording right now the band in general um focuses strictly on uh vintage instrument instrumentals right so we're doing period music late 50s to early I mean, uh, to probably mid to late 60s. But we're going to be doing some recording um, actually coming up. We're uh, uh, going to be putting together um, probably not a full album, but a decent amount of material that we're going to have available on the Bandcamp site. Like you say, right now, the only thing that's out there is a little bit of a teaser, um, not so much full recordings yet. But uh, the, by October, they will definitely be there. Uh, right now, if people were to go see your show, what, what could they expect? Yeah, so right now, um, it's like, like I say, the material is strictly stuff from from the 50s and 60s. But what I think we have going is um, sort of this, um, no matter what material we're doing is, it, it sort of comes out when we play it is sort of this um, a slightly more mellow, almost noir vibe. Um, so we're doing all the classic material. And it's not 100% strictly surf music, right? Because we are going back to the 50s. So there's some Link Ray, some Dwayne Eddy, that sort of stuff. And we're pushing into the later 60s. So um, we do a couple of Booker T songs and a little bit of uh, sort of touching on go-go material. Um, but when we play it, the, these four guys together, when we play it, it 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 comes out a little mellow and a little noir and and really vibey. Um, so it's been really fun putting this stuff together and playing these songs and just seeing how they come out. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so tell me a little bit about each of the individual members and and finish up with yourself. What did they bring to the table? Who are they? And uh, what instruments do they play? Yeah, for sure. So the the whole band came together because Bobby Keane, who's the guitar player put out an ad on a, a local um, classified ads page that I saw. So Bobby's the guitar player. Um, he's the youngest of the bunch um, by a little bit. So we're a slightly older generation <laughs> coming to the table, except for Bobby. Um, and uh, Bobby's just got a really good mind around all of this stuff. You know, he's um, he's got excellent tone. He's playing a Fender Cyclone through a surfy bear and uh, just sounds great. Um, and for a younger person, uh, and I say younger, he's in his 30s, right? To be into music from the 50s and 60s, I think is pretty killer. Um, so when when he put that ad out, I saw it and he and I got together and we talked about putting a band together. And I knew a couple of guys that I reached out to and it worked out. So Matt Jenkins is on drums. Matt and I actually played in a honky tonk band together uh, right before COVID hit. COVID kind of wiped that band out, but I was familiar with Matt through that band. And Matt is, um, I think, part of the reason that we end up with this vibe that I mentioned before. He's really super song oriented, but he's also just very mood oriented in his playing. And so that's what he's bringing to the table. Um, and then I also reached out to my friend Todd Jones. I was in a band called the Blusterfields with Todd. Todd's the singer in that band, but I knew that he was a keyboard player. And I also knew that he had a Farfisa at his house. Wow. <laughs> so I reached out saying like, hey, would you be interested in, in playing some, some keys with this band? Um, and he was. And so uh, it's funny because I think Todd is this super dynamic, outgoing guy. But in this band, he kind of wants to play this back role. But to me, the organ sounds that he's getting... Um, and um, electric piano sounds that he's getting are like the key to the whole deal. It's like unsung hero. Um, and, you know, obviously surf music and instrumental music sometimes has that front and center, but sometimes doesn't. But to me, it's the secret sauce. <clears throat> and then, as you mentioned, I'm Gary Miller. I'm the bass player. Um, what do I bring to the table other than low end? That's a great question. I think I, I help 
to some of the material and help uh, with arrangements. Arrangements are a big deal, I think, with this music because we're trying to be true to the sound and the style. Um, but it's also the case that, you know, most of these songs are two minutes long. So you go to put together a set and it takes you 60 songs to get <laughs> to get a set. So yeah. <laughs> figure out how can we stretch them out or how can we add something to them that keeps the original vibe um, while sort of uh, giving a little more meat to it. That's part of what I bring to the table, too. Yeah, I, I noticed uh, when, when well, I watch a ton of interviews, because uh, that's just what I'm into. <laughs> mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. I, I noticed, like, generally, there's, like, one dude in the band who has a real feel for what set is going to work mm. or what, you know, they can juggle the songs to make it flow or they just feel more comfortable than the other members doing that. Is that kind of kind of the way you feel? I wouldn't say that I'm better at it than the rest of the guys, but it is something that I keep an eye on, I think. Um, I think anybody who's in an instrumental band pays attention to how songs flow together because you don't have that lyrical piece or that vocal piece to give uh, that you know definitive distinction from song to song. So I do think we have a tendency to to try to see how things flow together. And I know for me, I have a tendency to want to um, figure out how we can um, have the flow be such that things don't sound samey samey, right? Like if you're doing, um, you know, if you're doing say. Uh, I know, contact by the pyramids and you follow it up with, you know, a song that sounds just like that, you know, penetration or something, <laughs> then, you know, people are going to go, is this the same song? So I have a, I think I have an eye on like providing that flow, but every, I think everybody's good at it. Bobby uh, in particular, I think is good at that too. Cool. Cool. Um, so as, as far as writing, is it more of a collaborative effort uh for these new songs that people are going to hear and as opposed to the traditional sound you have the farkisa in there right but what is what is the most distinct thing you can you you can say to represent the sound that people are going to hear I mean, yeah i mean i think it to a large degree i think it is the organ sounds that are the the defining tone i think because you know you've got the guitar that sounds pretty classic. And as I mentioned, Matt's drumming is like a little on the more laid back side. So it gives things this, um, this more mellow sound. But when you add that organ in, because for us, since we are doing all this vintage material, Todd on the organ is picking up the sax parts. He's picking up the, you know, if there are two guitar parts, he's picking up the second guitar part. And so it becomes, I think, a little more of the defining characteristic of the sound because it's just more present. Even, even bands that, um, you know, in the past had an organ, it, it wasn't always the featured instrument, whereas I think Todd's a little more present, because again, if we're picking up a song that's got a, a, a big sax part in it, chances are Todd's playing the sax part on the organ or the electric okay. piano. Um, so I really feel like that's the, the, this, like I said, the secret sauce of the sound. Um, and we haven't really taken on, it's interesting because we haven't taken on writing as a band yet. Um, 10 years ago, I put out a CD on my own under the name The Red Planets um, that was, again, all sort of vintage instrumental and surf music. And then Bobby actually just put out a, a, a instrumental album under the name The Good Fortunes. So we've both released solo records like this, but we haven't done it as a band. Um, and I think we'll continue as a band to focus on the 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 vintage material. I mean, I'm sure we're going to bring some of our own compositions to the table, but I think right now we're really more into interpreting the original stuff than we are writing new stuff. All right. All right. Awesome. Um, my last question before we finish it up is, what do you think of the Ghastly Ones reunion? Uh, I think it's very cool, actually. Um, I haven't looked to see... Uh, what's going on in that regard with with tour um but i'm hoping to to be able to catch that do you know if there are tour dates behind it or like what's the story uh i i don't know about tour dates i know they are playing out right now right um but they're also playing sg 101 right 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 um, yep. but that's you know for people <laughs> on the east coast it's a little tougher to yeah exactly Same here. <laughs> no i think it's terrific i love what they do and um 
you know, obviously when you're talking about, uh, you know, exciting names to see on a festival or see at a club date, uh, that's, a, you know, I, I, my ears would certainly perk up if they came anywhere near me. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally. So I'm going to uh, finish this up by letting you um, say anything you want to say, ask any questions or, uh, or, um, you know, pick up on something I, I may have not asked about. Yeah, I don't know of anything obvious, although I'm always interested to hear what people think is happening right now. So maybe the question is, uh, what band are you most excited about? Oh, uh, well, the current bands that are touring would, would probably be Daikaiju. Because mm -hmm. I like the more aggressive stuff. Right. Um, but I, I, I'm really stoked about that new Babylonies record. Cool. I really, I really like them and, and they're really nice guys. So uh, that's probably the one for me. That's exciting. I haven't listened to their new record yet, so I need to go take a listen. Yeah, there's a updated recording, I believe, of uh, Wide Track Weekend. Cool. Um, and that's, you know, the seven inch. Anyways, <laughs> uh, I want to thank you so much, Gary. And uh, thank you for, uh, you know, being you know, open to my juggling of the schedule and, and just being a cool guy in general. And I look forward to seeing some more of your videos. Yeah, thank you much. Thanks again for having me. And uh, I appreciate you helping me uh, get the word of these swell tones out in the world. Awesome.